Welcome back to the review. So, honestly, it was pretty good. I didn't see, like, the main event, but it was pretty good. MSK versus Killian Dane and Drake Maverick. MSK, formerly known as the Rascals. MSK somehow won against Killian Dane and Drake Maverick. Basically did um spine buster blockbuster combination on Drake Maverick and they pinned him. And that was it. Then we have Raquel Gonzalez versus and uh, no Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai versus Jesse Kamea and Aliyah. Honestly, we all knew was what was gonna happen here. Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai was gonna win. Like Aliyah, Aliyah stinks as wrestling. Jessica Kamea is too big to be wrestling. Yeah, that's it. And then there was the way he, Johnny Ariana was angry, how um, Candice LeRae was saying Kushida's name, and then that was it. Dexter Loomis shaved his shaved like a part of his mustache, and I was pretty mad at that. <sighs> so yeah, then we have the next match: Tyler Rust versus whoever was that man. Oh, sorry for zooming. And whoever that whoever was that man tapped to Tyler Rust, and Rust we trust. Then we have a. Then we have a good t a good tag team match, a decent one. Grizzled Young Veterans versus Kushida and Leon Ruff. Grizzled Young Veterans beat Kushida and Re Leon Ruff. Like, like honestly, like who, who who predicted Kushida and Leon Ruff? Like, be honest here, who predicted it to win the whole tournament? I don't think no one did. I think someone did. Sorry. And the way attacked Kushida and Leon Ruff, and then Dexter Loomis scared the way out, scared the way out of the ring, and then we have an outrageous, it's too outrageous, Kurt Stallion versus Santos Escobar delays again after Kurt Stallion was attacked backstage. But we know we don't know who it was. It was I don't we don't know if it's Lejaro del Fantasma or Santos Escobar, but like it's possible it could be Lucha House Party since um. They might be turning heel, like, it, they might, but I don't think it's true, but they might. And then we have Tony calls, Tony Stern calls out EO, and then EO enters, and Mercedes Martinez entered, and then Tony literally beat the shit out of EO and Mercedes Martinez, and Tony stood tall. They're probably going to do a triple threat NXT Women's title match instead of putting EO with Raquel and having Raquel win. Raquel Gonzalez actually did some... Actually did some cool spots and she actually earned her right to be an, an NXT Women's Champion. And no one's giving the title a shot to her. Just put EO versus um, Raquel Gonzalez. If you don't do that, then WWE is really dog water. You're dog water? You have no earnings? You have do you're dog water? Yeah, that's what you are, WWE. You're dog water. You have no earnings. Except one billion of Peacock. Okay, I'm gonna get... This video is gonna get taken down for saying that. All right, and then Imperium is gonna reunite soon, and then you in an Undisputed Era interview. They were talking about their match against um Thatcher and Champ, but that's gonna be happening next week. Yeah, Bronson versus Swerve. Bronson wins. Swerve. I love how the how WWE Creative decided to make Swerve a heel and then make him a jobber. Like WWE, your dog water. You have no earnings. I make more earnings than you, even though I'm not monetized. Nor partner with YouTube <laughs> all right all right and then we have the brand of Oni Lorkin Lorkin of Oni and D Birch of Danny versus ba Ben Balor and O'Reilly of Kyle and Balor O'Reilly win and then Pete Dunne decided to attack Balor and O'Reilly and then the Undisputed Era saved them so basically Triple H is still with the T's of Finn Balor during Undisputed Era. I don't think so. But thanks for the more teases. So, yeah. That was it. Thanks for the review. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. That's it.